Welcome to the TOPS1 training presentation series for the Template Library. Today's agenda will be going over template types, global uses for templates, the creation of your own library, editing the template, and resources from the TOPS website. Chapter 1 Template Types Setting up your own template library in TOPS1. Along the left hand navigation, the selection of Administrator. Scrolling to the bottom of the activity screen of the administrator, under Related Links, selection of Template Library to navigate to the area. In the Template Library, as we can see from the interface, the template type can be chosen between CCNR Letter, Check, Letter, Owner Access Registration, and Statement. Choices made by the drop-down will change the templates displayed below. As the templates are displayed below, the line item displays thumbnail image, the hyperlink title, the description, and the type. Clicking on the image thumbnail or clicking the title will bring up a PDF view of the document. Chapter 2 Global Uses for Templates Where one template can apply to them all or not. The certified mail indication indicates a printed PDF will be created. This coincides with the email or print preferences for owners that can be distinguished and determined under the editing of the owner itself. The owner access registration can also be sent by email or print from the owner access setup under admin. Each line item will allow you to default only one template for email or print or both for all communities per category or choose as you send. Chapter 3 Create your own library letters, checks, and statements. Templates can serve the entire portfolio where you can create your own statements, letters, checks, CCNR notices, owner access registration, emails, and letters. Everything coming from the TOPS1 system. Opening Microsoft Word, either Office 365 or Word 2013 or higher in version, will provide the Microsoft Office Store in which you can search for the TOPS Template Manager and the merge code information, which can be provided as an add-in for free. Once the application has been added, in your Microsoft Word, you will find it under your apps for future use. Under the Insert tab, you can select the Microsoft Store, search for the Merge Code Manager, and add it. Again, it's free. As the Merge Code Manager opens, you will see that there is a login indication, which you can log in with either email address and password that you log into the TOPS1 instance for yourself. Or you can skip it. Logging into the manager will provide access to the very custom fields that you and other users have created. However, it is not necessary or needed to continue to use and create documents using non-custom merge codes already provided. After you log in or skip, the merge code manager will appear along the right-hand side. You will select the template type you'll be working on. Chapter 4 Editing the Template Crafting the Documents that You'll Need once the template type has been selected, the category of codes available will appear below. You can select all, CCNR codes specifically, community codes, management, owner codes, and others. When creating your template library and creating your documents, the CCNR letter example, we would simply place our cursor in the body of the letter that we're creating, clicking once in the merge code manager to insert the merge code of our choice into the body of the letter. The code type will replace the code fields with the code data in TOPS1. Once you've satisfied that you've created your document, you may save the Word document to your local or server drive. You want to, of course, remember where you stored the letter for retrieval into TOPS1 later on into the template library as you build it up. Back into TOPS1, into the template library, under Actions at the top right hand corner, we will select to add a template. When you do select to upload a template into TOPS1, your Microsoft Word letter documents can be uploaded, of course, to the selection of the letter type at the top, the name of your template, the location of the Word document, and finally uploading the files. Three requirements, of course, with the template type, description, and template delivery type. Print or email can be selected, and a document can be defaulted as it is uploaded. At any point in time, during your use of TOPS1, of course, you can go to the template library, download and modify the existing templates you have. You can always open, edit, and add merge codes in MS Word, finally re-uploading to TOPS1, as you may need to change into the future. Chapter 5, Resources from the TOPS website. 
your TOPS website resources available at www.topsoft.com, selection of the hamburger icon for navigation in the top left hand corner. When the hamburger icon is selected, a drop down will present itself under the categories of products, resources, partners, about, and blogs. And under resources area, you'll find the template marketplace where you can make sure you explore all the advantages of all the areas. When selecting the TOPS template marketplace, you may filter categories based on checks and statements, collection letters, violation letters, and miscellaneous letters as well, building up your repertoire and your library. Template downloads from our library to yours, quick and easy, just click and download your template to start your library today. Thank you for watching the TOPS 1 training presentation series. Please continue in the series.